The 2020 presidential election is in full swing, and we want to help you keep track of the biggest issues and where the candidates stand on them, like trade with China. President Trump's decision to hit China with tariffs has been a defining policy of his first term in office, kicking off a trade war that has sent markets seesawing. His argument is that tariffs will hurt China's economy enough that they will make concessions in a trade deal, getting them to buy more from the United States and stop China from stealing intellectual property from companies in the United States. Trump says a deal is on its way, but in the meantime, China has retaliated with its own tariffs on U.S. imports. And the tariffs enacted by President Trump have made goods more expensive for U.S. consumers, and they've hurt American farmers to boot. As of now, President Trump seems to be inching toward a deal. So how are the Democratic candidates responding? Well, not all of them are against tariffs against China. A handful have said they're open to tariffs. They just question how President Trump has used them. I think tariffs are one of the tools in the toolbox, but they're only one of the tools. And so if we're going to, when we change trade policy in America, we got to have a plan. we got to work with allies, and we've got to make it work for the American worker. And I think that we need a trade policy with China that is based on principles of fairness, not unfettered free trade. Other candidates are against tariffs and would rather focus on other ways to counter China. I completely get the idea of China's doing something unfair. I get the idea of standing up to them. If there are trade deals that are not benefiting us enough, I get the idea of adjusting them to make sure that it's fair trade. Uh, but that's not what we're seeing right now. What we're seeing right now is basically politically motivated, motivated gamesmanship, and it's coming down on your back. Yes. It's hurting farmers. It's hurting workers. It's hurting consumers. The problem isn't the trade deficit. The problem is they're stealing our intellectual property. The problem is they're violating the WTO. They're dumping steel on us. That's a different issue than whether or not they're dumping agricultural products on us. In addition to that, we're in a position where if we don't set the rules, we, in fact, are going to find ourselves with China setting the rules. As for where Americans stand on this, a study from Pew Research Center found that economic ties between the U.S. and China are poor. And as the trade war continues, an unfavorable opinion about China from Americans has reached 60 percent. That's up from 47 percent in 2018. So as the fight for the White House continues, we'll be keeping an eye on China and where the candidates stand on Trump's trade war. Hey, NBC News viewers, thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking on that button down here and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights and digital exclusives. Thanks for watching.